morning, Saturday morning. It's bright, Hooray! it's sunny, but it's certainly autumn. <laughs> um, yeah, so um, following on from yesterday, we're going to continue with some electric work. Hopefully today I won't do anything um, hazardous. <laughs> to poor old Dave. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah so uh, what we're going to do today is we're going to carry on the fit out of the electric cupboard. Um, so yeah, we're just sort of working bits and pieces out really at the moment. So um, we haven't got the clips that we want to use to pin all of the um, cables back yet. So we've got to, to get. order those. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna fit um, the um, battery shut off button. What do you call it? A bit of button. Is that it? There. Is that yeah, what Dave's got what there? It, yeah. Oh, let's have a look at that then, Dave. Oh, that's not going to be mounted on the outside. We're going to mount the it inside. It moves like that, and it's not a push button. One. Sorry, I can't see because your hands in the way. Sorry. Oh yeah, like that. Yeah. Then it's, not okay. a, it's not a push button, so it won't it won't um, be knocked by us coming in and out. Yes. So sorry, what? Is that a bit too close? Is that for like an emergency to shut the batteries off if to stop the fire or something like that? No, 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 no. You, this here normally goes within six to twelve inches of the battery. That's, right. That's, that's all. All that switch is meant to do is to turn the power off so you can work on it. It's yes. not a safety feature. Right. It's, you shouldn't rely on that to switch it off if something catches on fire. Okay. That is only to switch the power off from the battery so you can work on it. Okay. That is it. The safety feature on the battery, you have the battery, and then within two feet of that battery, you've got to have a mega fuse. And that mega fuse has got to be the right ampage. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's the, that's the only safety feature you've got on that circuit. If anything goes wrong, that fuse is going to blow. Right. Because if you have to rely on somebody to turn off a switch to stop somebody from being electrocuted, that's not a very good system. Mm. So it's the mega fuse, which is the safety cut off for your battery that is just there so anybody coming on the boat that's working on your electrics can isolate the circuit okay that's all that's for okay. so don't don't go putting a battery in and saying that's my shut off safety feature it's not you've got to have that mega fuse in okay, okay. right so it's just just you know yeah the other reason that i wanted to put it on here is obviously when you're not on the boat as in for a certain amount of time yeah. um, you want to isolate everything off turn everything off so I thought if it was in a cupboard there's a chance that we might forget yeah but with it being here yeah. uh, here it'll be a, a constant reminder yes um, that we need to isolate off the batteries so that that's why but really the red doesn't it. really go with my color scheme <laughs> no comment <laughs> You got, you got blue on this one, or is it, or is it black? This one. And not you got black. black, black, black. Oh, you're so right with that. Chrome. Yeah, chrome. yeah. Well, yes, I reckon in that there, maybe. Yeah. Well, no, he won't go there. No, no, he won't be able to. He won't be able to come out here. Just to go and get that one there as close as. He lit the unit there, won't he? We hit the consumer nearly. Very close. No, it's like Spaghetti Junction in here. Oh, that's not so bad, is it? Hmm. No. What about above it? No, we can't. You got power in there. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to go here and here, mate. I think. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not. I can always paint the red button. Just pull it out here, but I didn't want to. This cable that we got coming in from the shoreline. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Oh, we, yeah, we can do that. I can put it anywhere I want it, really. Oh, I've got to go through the gold wire isolator after this, isn't it? That'll go to there and then we can come out of here up onto the Golvanic. No, this goes in after the Golvanic isolator, doesn't it? We 
it shuts off shore power. Well, that's not going to shut off the shore power, is it? But that's going to shut off the shore power. Yeah, that shuts the shore power off. Because that's off. That shuts everything off. So nothing's going to the boat at all. Nothing's working at all. And that is the generator, wasn't it? That's no, no, that was the shore, shore power. No, that, that was the... On here. Yeah, first one looks like it's a shore power. Yeah, right. So generator, then number inverter. Number one shore power, then generator, then inverter. Mm. Yeah, so. And that, I think it looks better. I think right, that, and that's going to look better, don't you? Yeah. 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 You reckon? Yeah. Yeah, what? I'm just trying to think of what else is going on here as well. I mean, we're, I'm, obviously, we know that. I don't even know. I assume that's going to go in there, that wet drop. Right. But it might yeah. not. It might have to go further down here. Um, but well, so you know, your um, inverter panel is the only next thing to go in there, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. But will that go in there? I don't easily. know. Easily. Yeah. Easily. They're only yeah. piddly little bit. They're a little oh, smaller they? than them, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, only about that big of that drum. Oh, okay. well, there's so, so much to think about. I thought about. I'd seen a big, wider one, that was all, in my mind. But yeah, they do look quite big, but they're quite right, big. Right, so that will go in there. Um, yeah. I, I don't, is there any other display panels after that? Because that has everything on it, doesn't it? That's the yeah. solar and yeah. your battery um, output and everything. So there won't be anything else, because we've got the water meters down there. Yeah. The diesel will obviously be on here. Yeah, all your engine yeah. uh, so that'll information's all be on there. up there. Um, yeah, we copied that off of the um, that size yeah, we got from the yeah. from the manual, didn't we? Yeah, so, yeah. that's okay. So um, yeah, right. Lee's just made a big thing about taking the shoreline out. I want proof on camera. <laughs> well, it's up there. Look. <laughs> Dave told him to stick his finger in there just to make sure. <laughs> we honestly thought he was messing about yesterday because I don't know how many times he's done that. And we were just uh, <laughs> laughing. <laughs> he got electric it's shock. Only, it's only when his little bit of hair stood up that I realised that was <laughs> Like he'd been rubbing a balloon against the top of his head. <laughs> he go off people, don't you? He just <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. For the record, it's not just me copying Dave, Dynamic <laughs> Dave. Dynamic Dave's been copying me on secret. <laughs> Look, he's nicked my idea before I could do it. He's nicked my idea. Lee, off me. Lee is so happy because he came up with an idea and Dave is copying him. Yeah. Right, would you like to explain your idea? The pipe Lagging, pipe lagging on the on the um, on the ladders. Yeah. To cushion against the paper. Yes. You nick that originally, and then I was just saying on. Um, so I just cut this one. So I won't need to pull off. And I said I think I'm going to use um, cable clips instead of tape. And Dave said that's a good idea. <laughs> and then before I know it, he ran off. <laughs> Oh, all right. Dave's one's bigger as usual. This is my copyright. Are you painting it? <laughs> And he got his done before you did. His and hers. His and hers. I've got to say, I'm a bit late on enough. Yeah, I think oh, sorry. I think, um, I think, um, Grandad might be able to learn a trick from this. <laughs> he might have his jigs, but I've got my, um, lagging <laughs> and, um, cable cut ties. <laughs> I know. <laughs> How rude. Well. I'm just looking at mine actually, I was just thinking, yeah, I could do that to mine really. <laughs> and look, Dave's tiger moth is on top of his boat now. 
Is that because the grandchildren came over to stop them playing with it? <laughs> Actually, that's not a bad idea. <laughs> Do you know what? <laughs> that would not surprise me. Next time we come, I bet he does. I wouldn't put anything past this man. We were just talking about how far my rudder sticks out more than his rudder. And I said that's because we're squared off. But then I, then we were talking about the um, button fender. Yeah. And Dave's got, these are the opposite way round. He's got the two two connectors, two holes at the top and the single one at the bottom and we're the opposite way around. So we're just discussing that now, yeah. So basically you're discussing who's got the cutest back end. <laughs> well, we're going to have to, yeah, you'll have to, you'll have to come down and do a video on it. Who's got the best back end? Right, who's got the best back end? Hang on a minute. Dave wants comments to know who's got the best back end. Hang on a minute. Oh, oh, sorry, we're talking boats. <laughs> <laughs> I decided I want to round mine off. <laughs> right, so that's our back end. You see, you've got the two, the two. Um, yeah. And one at the top. Yeah. Right. All right. Now I bet Dave's got about ten more. <laughs> no, this is the opposite oh, way round. Look, then. he's got two at the top and then. Oh yeah. The so that's what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. So guys, who's got the cutest back end? <laughs> okay, so we're just coming to the bait, bait, paint shed to show you. That looks really good. And there's a lovely boat in here that's being painted what at the moment. If this works out. The humidity ah, right. and the dew point, which is that's the temperature which water droplets form in the air. So we have to take the humidity, which is 63%, the dew point, which is 10.59, and then we have to take the temperature of the steel, which is 16, so that's plenty good enough. So we try and paint three degrees above the dew point, and then it's the best environment for the hardening paint. Look at that, I love this that's, colour. That's what happens. Yeah, the top coat. Yeah, yeah. That's what yeah. Happens, it, it, even when we take wood in, it takes it off. Look at yeah, that so lovely wood. sheen there. Hasn't hardened off beautiful, hasn't it? Mm. So this is where we, so we put the the anti slip on. We make features to the solar panels that go in here mm. because because it's new solar panels. If you did it and then they change it, it looks silly. Mm. But also, it's quite nice to wipe underneath. Yeah. And then it just makes a feature out of it. It probably stops, stops the water holder and you don't get that green moulding under it there. Exactly, yeah. yeah. And then all these, and then we, we make yeah. panels where the drainage lines are. So yeah, that's a good idea. Quite wide, yeah. Because these are quite wide drainage yeah. panels. Yeah. Because um, it shows all the crap else, doesn't it? Very nice. Look at that sheen. It's quite similar to what you're talking about doing, isn't it? Yeah, well, I know got yeah identical, wide, yeah. But... Yeah, identical. So if anyone's looking to have their boat painted, I think you're pretty much booked up for next year, though. Yeah, aren't you? we're still we're still talking to people, you know. For, uh, <laughs> we haven't stopped talking to people. Yes, yeah, so that's that's just the sand on there. So so yeah. he puts the paint down and the last paint, and he cuts it sand and then paints over, hooves it up and paints over the top. Mm. And that that's that's not that yellow is just your yeah, marker tape and yellow, yeah. so that'll come off. So that's all grey. What um, tape do you use, John? Uh, Tessa, Tessa Tate. Tessa Tate. Right. Yeah. The doors here. Yeah. Is it dry? Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Cool. So, so, so the worst one, the other bit is, is, is the, you know, you will not find a run or a drip anywhere in this boat. So, so that's, that's the that's all roller brushed. Roll it and then brush off, yeah. yeah. All laid off the brush. Yeah, it's all good. Very good. Who's that, Tristan? Tristan does it, yeah. Does he? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
No, it's good. We weren't convinced about the colours. And then when the yellow tank was on, it looked like Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> <laughs> but now I think it looks still really nice. I it's love that blue. Well. It's very different. Mm. <clears throat> Um, it's, 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 a, it's a little bit like the old railway carriages. Do you remember the old yeah. sort of GNER? Yeah, 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 yeah. the, the mallard was in those mm. burgundy. And I wouldn't remember. I'm not as old as you guys. <laughs> <laughs> that's the same grey as what your heart bag is. Yeah, yeah, that's the darker grey. So mm. uh, is it Tuscan sort of thing? Yeah. Can you not wear a shirt anymore? No, it's not worth it. I'm putting a load of these in, Dave. I'm putting a load of. So, John used to um, hire the shed out so people could paint their own boats, but they've stopped doing that now, and I think they're um, pretty booked up doing the painting themselves. Yeah. Right, so we've just seen John. And he reckons that Dave has a Brazilian bum, whatever that means. Yeah, I'm, sure. <laughs> I'm looking for a cork if anybody got one. <laughs> maybe it's a Brazilian thong. Who knows? Yeah. Um, yeah, well, Ali's been busy in here doing her painting. I don't know if she's been filming in here. No, I haven't because yeah. it's a bit boring, isn't so, it? But I've just been um, basically filling, sanding, yeah. a bit of undercoat on there. And yeah. it's getting there nice and smooth. It's been ever so quiet day. <laughs> Oh, they're so rude. I'm they are so rude. I'm <laughs> so we're gonna skedaddle off for a little shower, yeah. and then, uh, I'm a, I'm and then we get get dinner and get Dave his fill of Doom Bar. Yeah. His uh, alarm's already gone off, saying he needs Doom Bar. Have we got any plans for tomorrow? I see Dave's already looking in there. Yeah. Yeah, um, well, yeah, we got, we're going to fit all the rest yeah. of this. Oh, well, yeah, 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 we've got to fit all this out. Yeah, that's cut now, isn't it? Yeah. So that's all ready to go. Yeah. Yeah, we can get this this three functional switch. Yeah. Right? Yep. So we'll there. film all that being done tomorrow. Yeah, that done. Get that uh, shut off 12 volt there. Yeah. Done. Yeah. And uh, then we've got to have a look at tidying this little lot up. So well, I've got to get all the clips and that as well. And the other thing we need to do is discuss that, that trunking. Because I think in some places, if we can get a bit of trunking somewhere, like that, this bit here, maybe bring, it, bring a bit of trunking along there and up here. Right. And what, just trunk, to clean it up? everything, all this lot. Yeah, into, together. Into, like yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Be neat yeah. then, wouldn't it? Completely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, I think that's what we need to do. Yeah. It's, it's going to be complicated and it's going to be fix it and then bugger it's in the wrong place, move it two inches. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. yeah. That's the way, the yeah. way of the world, isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. so we we'll look forward to seeing you all tomorrow morning, bright and early. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I hope you have a good evening. Not, not too early. Not too early. Yeah. Stay in bed, it's Sunday. Did you finish that pump switch off down there? Yeah. All working? Yeah. Do you want to prove it? Yeah. Oh, hey. oh, here we go. Right, I've just got to show you one more thing because on Lee there. did do something else today. Which one is the fourth it? one? That one. There we go. Here, so Lee put the pump switch on. No, that's the water pump. It's the one above, sorry. Oh, is it this one? Oh, okay. So, just on the switch. <laughs> ah. Glug, glug, glug. That's the well gulper. There you yeah, go. Yeah, good. Yeah, it's a good idea to have a uh, isolation switch there because then, uh, then it um, you can switch it on and off whenever you want. Mm. Mm. Brilliant. Yeah. Right, see yeah. you guys tomorrow. Bye for now.